All right, in this book assignment, page 430, 18 through 24 is the assignment, and I'm going to do 20 and 24, so you got something to um, look off of. All right, number 20, first thing you want to do <clears throat> is draw a triangle. Label it. Remember, angle C is always the right angle. Side C is opposite. A and B does not matter where you put it at. So A is 8. Angle A is 40. All right. So we want to find, so we want to solve the triangle. So that means we have to find uh, side C, side B, and angle B. Well, we can find angle B because all three angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So 90 plus 40 is 130 minus 180 is 50 degrees. So find side C or side B, or we're given angle A, all right? So that means this is opposite and this is adjacent. So it depends on what you want to find first. You want to find B or find C. Uh, that's um, actually it does. Let's see here. I want to find. I want to use tangent of angle A or 40 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Right. Now, if I pick sine sine of 40 degrees A over C, I could do that to find C. But I could not use cosine because I will have two unknowns. So you got to use tangent or sine in order to find C or B. All right, so multiply both sides by B. So B tangent of 40 degrees is equal to 8. Divide both sides by tangent of 40 degrees. So B is equal to 8 over tangent of 40 degrees. So approximately, use the calculator. So eight, make sure you're in degree mode. So we have 8 divided by tangent of 40 gives me 9.5. So 9.5. Now to find side C, I do not want to use this because it's already, I want to use the opposite. All right. So if I want to find opposite over hypotenuse, that means it's going to be sine. Sine of 40 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. All right. I don't want to do the other way because I'm using the approximation of 9.5 if I use the other trig function, and I don't want that. I want to use 8 for both of these. So it sort of forces my hand on what trig function I can use. All right, so multiply both sides by C. So C of sine 40 degrees equals 8. So C is equal to 8 over sine 40 degrees. All right, and just use the calculator. So 8 divided by sine of 40 degrees, and I get 12.4. Right. So those are the three missing parts. All right, 24, you do the same thing. Draw a triangle. So this is angle C, side C. Side, angle A, side A, angle B, side B. A is 4.2, so we're given that. Side angle C, oh, they threw a curveball at us. All right, angle C is 33 degrees, it's not 90 degrees, so that changes things. All right, so they're not saying, they're saying A, B, and C can be whatever. So, We'll make angle A that, so side A is the hypotenuse. Angle B, so this is side B. Angle C, this is side C. So this is saying 33 degrees. A is, in other words, the hypotenuse is 4.2. All right, so I want to use a trig function. 
So we have to find, um, let's see, find side C, find side B, and find angle B. Again, angle B is 180 minus 90 minus 33, which is 57 degrees. All right, it doesn't matter which one you want to find, but you have to always use the hypotenuse. That means that has to be sine or cosine. So let's do sine of 33 degrees is equal to C over 4.2. So C is equal to 4.2 sine of 33, 33 degrees. <clears throat> Make sure you're in degree mode. That gives me 2.3. And then <clears throat> side B, so I'm going to use cosine of 33 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So B is equal to 4.2 cosine of 33 degrees. Use a calculator and you get 3.5. And there's your measurements.